Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. All right, we got a couple fairly just fairly clear wins last time, but we got five wins now, so things are. Of course, we're still in sudden death. Yeah, no more strikes left. Okay, next next. Nathan, I'm gonna have to let like, this side here. This is where I'm like looking straight at the thing. But with my camera position, I can't put my camera any more in the right direction or stuff. The background shows like the ugly wall and everything is just arranged in such a fashion I can't do much better. This is not a good start. I'm gonna keep the arcane explosion, but I'd rather have a minion that I could cast. Okay, thank God. All right, yes, excellent. Whoo! I was worried. I mean, things can still go horribly wrong. But, like, now my starting hand is at least something that could work. Okay, going first power. Probably playing him with no echo next turn, which is fine. Because, like, there was a minion in previous sets that was him without echo. And it was perfectly solid arena minion. Um, so I'm going to hit you and get enraged. And play a taunt in case your plan was to kill him with rush. If your plan was to kill him with Consecrate or something like Coinsecrate, that would be very expensive to kill him right now. So you go ahead. Interesting. And then you're going to coin buff him or something? No, you're not. Okay. Gave you kind of crap. That's okay. We're going to do that. The question is, I can't allow that thing to be alive to be buffed. I just can't. Do I kill it with my 5-1? If I shoot it, I can't do anything else with my turn. I am going to kill it with this, which I hate doing because now it's vulnerable. But Paladins don't usually have a lot of 1 damage solutions. And this just is, that's a whole bunch more hit points. It's very good at killing things at this stage of the game. And it can stop my opponent from weaponing effectively. So there's a lot going for it. Um, that's fairly negative. Oh well, we can take it out with this, though. It's not the worst, because he would easily survive, so... As far as bad outcomes, that's not that bad. And we'll play this. Gives us some more meat. Do I play this now? There's no real need to play it now. I mean, I might want... that in my hand. Lose one health for each card in your opponent's hand. Right. It always seems to come out about that same size, but it's still a big taunt every time. I think I've got to fireball that. I think that's the most efficient way to uh, deal with it, because then I can get through and freeze him and all kinds of stuff. We'll play her, even though I don't think I want to actually play the, uh, the mirror in Oh, yeah, if by playing her, I didn't have enough mana to do everything. So, okay, I guess I gotta trade this guy. That's too bad. But you're frozen now. Uh, I guess since that died, I will do this. I have to consecrate. But if there's a consecrate, it takes two thirds of my opponent's mana, and I will still have out these two guys. Call to arms. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of small guys that I guess I'm going to have to blizzard. I mean, I was going to flame strike them, but I, I don't see the point in wasting that. This will do nothing, basically, because they'll have two hit points. So I guess we're just going to blizzard them. Seems like the best surrender time sort of move. Yeah. Now what? Play that vine cleaver that you can't attack with. Being frozen all the time is pretty hard to work. Draw a minion with Divine Shield. That's pretty good. Peacekeeper, uh, you're running out of mana. Methinks thou art in trouble. Uh, so if I Cinder Storm, I'm not actually going to kill you. I've got 5, 6 damage I can do reliably to you, so 3 of this 5 would have to hit you. 
Actually, I can manipulate the chances of that. It's almost certain to happen if I arcane explosion first. I mean, I could just play this, which is also fairly secure. But I think I'm more. I think I'm very likely to win if I just do this, and then this. Wow, that sucks because it means I can't win this turn. I must have miscounted. I thought I was closer than that, but you're still in trouble. I think I, was, I must have been off by one. But it didn't kill all his minions, so. Yeah, that'll save you. Okay. Oh, is it ever? There's still a flame strike. Like, dude, there's still a flame strike. Okay. Well, mage is pretty good in the arena. And especially since this is a proper mage that actually has three big area spells. Oh, there's so many Cinder Storms. Okay. Yeah, that went very well. A standard deck at some point, so I can can play a whole bunch of games of standard. I don't have time for that. When I I'm doing this, and then going right back to editing this video is gonna take forever. Forever. It's so animated. I'm not doing this again for at least a year, hopefully longer, because it took taking like a quarter of a year already. Do I keep you in my starting hand? I don't think so. I'm going to try for something else. No, it probably won't improve. I've got a fairly secure starting hand with these guys. Yeah, good. That's more options. I mean, he's... I don't like seeing it this early, but on the other hand, I do like the fact that I'm going to have him available. Even though I've... The only time I played him, he got sapped. I've basically never used him. He is, he is pretty serious, though. Like, this is a powerful common in terms of late-game arena cards. Okay, mildly annoying. If I play him, you can do stuff and kill him. I think the thing to do is just play non-Echo Militia. Fine. It is a waste of Echo, but I usually don't seem too short of stuff to play in, that, whereas that taunt right now seems useful. If you're 2 one still alive, I might want to bounce my guy off it. Or... Nope, okay. Hmm. Those guys match up pretty well against my stuff. I'm not, not thrilled by that. I don't really want to play the counter spell right now. I'm gonna drop you. Not attack. I'm gonna force you to attack and kill him. Which I guess means you could kung fu my guy, but that would take half of your mana, and you'd still take the five ones. Hmm. On the other hand, if I have to spend half my mana shooting your guy, yeah, it's a totally legit move. Take four for half your mana. Okay. That's not good. I don't like seeing that. If I could blizzard them, they would probably not appreciate that. The question is do I hit you for three or go for board control? I like the idea of you not being able to buff anything. But on the other hand, this is making all my spells cheaper. The fact is, if you use your guy and then you kill the worgen, it's not the end of the world. The spells make go cheaper power could be pretty significant. Where shall I Defense mode. I'm gonna kill that. Okay. Interesting. Not gonna work out great. Let's do this. See what I get. I might be playing counter spell. I could play the tower creeper right now. I'm going to take the Tar Creeper over that, but I'm not actually just going to play the Counterspell now. It's fine. 
We'll let them build up some forces and then blow them up. Mage style. To get out my purple worm at some point. Beetles! Ew. It's a good adaptation for him. Yeah, I can't do much with this. I think I'm just going to have to blizzard and sit tight with my guy. I could blizzard and kill the bear, but I don't really want to. Even though doing this kind of gives away that I might have a flame strike. But maybe not. Maybe I have something. Maybe I have a secret that triggers when my guy dies. You don't know. Okay. Just gonna, we're just gonna flame strike. Could be better, could be worse. You can use your expensive minion to kill my fairly cheap one. I mean, once you attack, your guy's dead anyway, so yeah. If he doesn't attack and saves him for stealth, it'd be hilarious because he'll probably die to Cinderstorm. I would take time out from my busy worm summoning schedule to kill that guy with a cinder storm. That would be pretty worthwhile. I can cinder storm and still play the Argent Commander. Or cinder storm, tar bite, tar elemental, and shoot something for one. That, that's a counter spell. Now your real spell. No, you're just gonna steal three life from me. Okay. You're gonna do that. You're like <laughs> you're you're tired of him being alive. You don't want to take that eight. He's scary. Okay. You've got nothing out that's pressuring me now, so this is actually probably a great time to just play the violet worm. I'll worry about that blood drinker a little bit later. Violet Worm's a 7-7 seven, seven on the street, and 7 on the sheets. It does, it, you don't want to be looking at that on the other side of the board unless you have a stupid rogue. Because if you hit that, and then if you do 4 more damage to it, it's still going to beat your face in for 7. It's three, yeah, 4 more damage. Mixing the numbers around in my head. It was right the first time. Offensively, Starfall that. Do you have a bite left? Or are you just going to deal with this? No, you're just going to, like, kill one. You're not even going to kill one. What's your plan? Like, Tree of Life? I mean, it's true I can't cast any minions. Well, I've got all these guys out. I can just shoot one to make room, and it's fine. I'm a mage. Wow, none of you is all that good. Uh, since I have the mana, I'm going to take this guy, but he's a much worse card than Tark Reaper. I'm pretty fine with this army, though. You're gonna, like, Starfall again? Ult Infestation! Ouch! That is a serious card. Draw a million cards, gain armor, all these things. So this gives me a secret. Let's see what secret I can discover. I'm going to take the mana bind, in case your plan is to do that again. Then we're going to go... Boink. We're going to go Northrend. 
and knock off all your armor, so... Yeah, you still drew, like, a billion cards, though, from the Ultimate Infestation, so this is not a good situation. One Starfall will pretty much do us in. I mean, we I guess we get a Starfall, but it's not much compensation. Ah, oh, shock. Uh, if this was a Counterspell, that would be much better than the zero giving me a zero-cost Starfall. What am I going to do with a Starfall? Nothing. has drawn a billion cards, so I have to real ramp up the card advantage to stay in this, basically. Okay, we're gonna start by doing this, see how it works out. But if I get to kill him, excellent. Nope, that was totally fine. If I play him, I can't do as much, so let, let's Ghastly Conjurer and this guy. It's it's tough, because I'd rather get him out as soon as possible, so that his ability to attack with Poisonous is live. But in practice, like, it, it is Taunt Poisonous, so he's annoying in that way. I just don't want him getting worn down with crap. Ooh! That is big and ugly. And of course the 5-5 five, five kills this, because he's not very good. Just better than the alternatives I had. Um, okay, so I could block both those guys, but then I'm really putting myself out there. I'm not going to have anything good left. He dies if he hits that, and it would still take two damage to finish it, so that's really not going to be worth it. So, no, let's, uh, let's just... I'm just going to do all this junk. And then I'm going to regret the fact that I have no cards left, and my opponent has a million cards, and my stuff's not that impressive. If he can kill the 1-5 Poisonous without losing too much, then I'm probably just going to lose. That ultimate information was too big. And the second... And, and the second Starfall. If he didn't have the second Starfall... I might have won this by now, or certainly, like, he would be having trouble, but, you know, he did draw a billion cards from the Ultimate Infestation, so it's, I can, what if that all I want, but it's not like it was unreasonable for him to have that. Okay, that sucks, because that's going to heal him for eight when it dies. It's another minion that's on par with my Crazy Worm. Damn. I mean, I can kill it with my Poisonous Guy, I'm going to have to but he's going to heal a billion. So I'm really nowhere in the killing him front now. I have a small crap army. He's got four more hit points and all the cards. I mean, Dr. Card, Dr. Card Draw will... Well, he doesn't draw me cards, but he will get bigger every turn if he's not dead, so there's that. Charge a sore, okay. That's gonna get through to him before my guy gets big enough. It's not even close. I'm in trouble. Need more super taunt. Echo taunt guy? I don't use that yet. No, of course not. Damn it. Yeah, not good. I'm I'm dead. I'm not gonna be able to pull this out. I don't see this getting into a situation where I'm decking him because he's still got as many cards. They're just in his hand, so he's gonna do way too much stuff before running out of it becomes an issue. That's two guys. Oh, that's some serious tauntage. I'm glad I have this Arcane Explosion. It's actually going to work pretty well, but still not the ultimate. Oh! Man, the Arcane Explosion is going to do so well. But i got to get this guy out of the way. So I don't want to waste the Blizzard on this stuff when the Arcane Explosion is mostly obliterating them. 
my guys will take a real beating to get through that. Whereas if I blizzarded, he'd be at five. Then arcane explosion. Is, no, I'd, be, I'd be spending all my stuff just for this. It's not worth it. I'm just gonna have to suck it up and not kill that thing right now. And my turn. Probably regret it, but I'm giving him. In this case. I'm just giving him more control if I try and soften up his guy without killing him. I hope the guys he's putting out are vulnerable to blizzard. I don't know. Oh, that's terrible, because it's big enough to survive blizzard and it's going to give him more cards. Walnut Sprite, hello. can't do both of these in the same turn. Is it worth Walnut spreading and not killing his guys? I can hit more of the Blizzard later. What to do? I think I just gotta take it for now. Is it worth softening him up with this? I will still have two health. Probably. I don't know. It, maybe not. It's annoying that I didn't have enough mana left to finish him this turn, but yeah. I don't know. I think this is all just like a slow burn to me dying. I can't see coming back. I've already used a lot of my big cards. 3-5 uh, taunt, that's what I need. More hit points over there. Everything is big. Claw Kung Fu and kill one of my walnuts. Awesome. Hit me for 10. I only have so many 10s. Or are you going to soften up one of your guys killing walnuts? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's plus one health. Oh, that sucks. I was like, three, two, that's awesome. And then plus one health really Because it was going to work out okay with the blizzard. Uh, have I played my counter spell yet this game? Because this guy will give me a counter spell. I guess we'll play him anyway, because there's no reason not to. No, I've already played the counter spell. So this sucks because... I can't go through and kill all his guys the way I was hoping to after the blizzard. They're too tough now. We're still going to walnut him and go through, but we're, uh, we're severely out of steam. He's still got friggin' three cards plus the one he drew on his turn. He's got three extra cards more than I do. Oh shit. Okay, that was one to one, it wasn't a nightmare, but two four taunt, that's not helping me. Hit points are just like the hit points Well, more ghastly conjuring is not really gonna win the day here, I don't think. This is all... this is messed up. I don't like how this is going at all. The plan is I shoot him, I shoot him again next turn, I can hit him with the one that will survive. Oh, shit. So much for surviving. No, I'm, I'm dead now. Unless I haven't... unless I get the other blizzard or... I think I've already used the flame strike. I still have a lot of cinder storms, don't I? That's not it. You know what? This has got to have a lot of cinder storms, because I have not played many this game. And I needed them, and I did not get them. There's no way I can pull this out. Join me. 
because I can shoot him, and then I can't shoot the bubble, so I can't actually eliminate the source of damage. Just go straight. Yeah. How many of these seven cards are Cinder Storms? Seriously. Cinder Storm instead of the Water Elemental there? I bet you I would still be in this game, and if I was still in the game, there would still be hope, but no. Crap. We're so close. I I held I hang hung in there with all the defensive stuff. Looked. Opponent was just running out of cards. If I could have just gotten more value out of the defense or the echo and stuff, I think I played both my echo guys. Up, but still, I feel like I'm far from being able to hold out long enough for him to deck himself. Well, we have what cares X is good. Curse Castaway, you you were weird, eh? Yeah, five three rush, death rattle draw a combo. Oh no, you're not that weird. You're pretty cool. Yeah, I know. It is an interesting set though, and we're gonna have to uh, try out a lot of different things in the Witchwood Arena next time. If you found that useful or entertaining, or if you enjoy cookies, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.